Okay, let's carry on doing some work on standard form and hopefully you already know what standard form is and you understand that these two numbers here are already written in standard form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to calculate this with and without a calculator. So first of all, I would like to show you how to do it with a calculator. So I'm going to put a bracket, although I don't need it. So it's 9 times 10 and the power button here in your calculator it might be xy. So I've got 9 to the power 9 times 10 to the power of 12, and then 5 times 10 to the power of 18. Now this is going to give me a very large number. Okay, 10 to the power of 12 and 10 to the power of 18 are going to give very, very large numbers. So big that most calculator displays won't be able to show it. So I'm just going to show you what actually happens. What we've got here is 4.5e plus 31, and most calculators have similar kind of notation. And what this actually means, the e is the times 10. And the plus 31 is obviously making it a big number rather than a minus number. So if I was to write this in standard form from my calculator, the e gets replaced with times 10. So that e is the same as we write a standard form, times 10 to the 31. Now I want to think about if we didn't have a calculator, how could we do it? Well, I'm going to rewrite this equation as 9 times 5, so that times that, times 10 to the 12, times 10 to the 18. So I can do 9 times 5, which is 45. And because of the powers, the, the, the index laws, the 12 and the 18 get added together to give me 30. Now I could stop here because I've got a number and it's times 10 to the power of something, but I don't want to. The reason why I don't is because this number here, this isn't actually in standard form because this is not between 1 and 10. So take 45 to get it between 1 and 10, I would write 4.5. Now that has had an effect on the index. I've moved it across one place, so this now becomes 10 to the power of 31, which we knew was the answer for my calculator anyway. But I've done that whole calculation, big numbers without a calculator. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, look at this. 4 times 10 to the power of minus 4 times 3, to, well, I'm going to do 4 times 3, 12, times 10. Now these two powers I'm going to add these two numbers, I'm going to add together to give minus 10. It's not in standard form because it's 12 and I should make it 1.2. And once I do that, I need to add 1 to that power, which is minus 9. I've got another one. And again, I'm going to do this without calculator. 6.5 times 8. Well, 6 eights are 48 half of 8, 52, times, now I've got minus 7 and 13, so that's going to give me 6, when I add these two together, it's not quite in standard form, it should be 5.2, times 10 to the power of uh, <coughs> 7. Okay, so we've got these, just added one to the power, that's correct. Right, I was just going to do one more. I realise there's not a division one on there, so I'm going to make a division one up very quickly. So what if you've got something like 8 times 10 to the 7 divided by, and I'm deliberately going to make this, let's change this, sorry, I've got on the hoof, 4, and I'll make this 8 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, basically here, I've got 4 divided by 8, so I can make that 0 0.5. And I can do the same thing I did with the powers. I can do 7, take away 5, giving me 2. Now, that's not in standard form, so to turn it into standard form, I would do 5 times 10 because I've gone the other way here, this has got to take one away from the power to give me that. 
So this is how I can do calculations with standard form and also recognizing that the calculator can work in standard form, it just changes its notation.